the newly re-elected governor of your state as he makes his way into the auditorium. The moment the governor gets to his this event will take off in her Almighty God, on behalf of uh, all the elected officials for your state, the state uh, officials, the governor, the deputy governor elect, and the uh, members uh, of the House of Assembly elect. I want to use this opportunity to say that, well, elections, electionary, <clears throat> that's over now. Uh, no more abuses, no more uh, sneaky behaviors. Now it's for us to face the task of governance. It's for us to face this task of building a state that will be an envy for all the states in Nigeria. It's a time for us to redouble our efforts towards taking our people from poverty to prosperity. It is a day to reflect on the decision of the people of your states. A day to acknowledge all the people that have contributed one way or the other towards making today a success. And the resident electoral commissioner and his team, I will want to uh, appreciate you. The lack of building a strong, sustainable democratic ethos cannot be carried out alone by the Commission without the support of all various stakeholders in the electioneering process. I therefore use this medium once again to urge all the stakeholders, especially the political class and security agencies, to continue to support the Commission efforts at ensuring lasting democratic process in the country, especially in your state. We remain committed to doing our job professionally. In every contest, there must be a winner. All the political parties that contested in this election, the People's Democratic Party was singled out and given a total of 573,756 votes. 563,000 756 votes. This is the highest number of votes in the election. The party equally had the mandatory spread in all the 20 local government areas of the state. The margin of lead principle of the political party with the highest votes scored in the poll was comfortable to present a clear winner in the election. <laughs> 